When Elon Musk's first wife, Justine, replied to a question on Quora about how someone can be as great as Elon or other super successful people, she wrote, These people tend to be freaks and misfits who are forced to experience the world in an unusually challenging way. Elon Musk grew up in Pretoria, South Africa, and said he had an unhappy and lonely childhood. He didn't spend much time playing with other kids. Because he has Asperger's, he struggled to pick up social cues and to understand that sometimes people didn't say exactly what they meant, but instead spoke figuratively. He only started to figure it out by immersing himself in books and watching movies. Musk even mused that perhaps he read too many comics as a kid. Telling Ashley Vance in his 2015 book about him, in the comics, it always seems like they are trying to save the world. It seemed like one should try to make the world a better place, because the inverse makes no sense. It's no coincidence, Musk has made it his mission to make a mark on the world, with self-driving electric cars and plans to colonize Mars. His brilliance was apparent from an early age. His father Errol once said that when Elon was three or four years old, his son asked him, where is the whole world? In other words, where did Earth sit? in the grand scheme of the universe. Quite the question for any young child to ask. Things were not great at school. In fact, they were painful. He endured years of ruthless bullying, as detailed in Ashley Vance's book. One day, in eighth or ninth grade, Musk recalled how he and his brother Kimball were sitting on the top of a flight of stairs eating, when a boy snuck up behind him, kicked him in the head, and shoved him down the stairs before a bunch of boys beat him until he blacked out. The beating damaged his nose so badly, it restricted the airflow for which he later had surgery. The bullies even beat up Musk's best friend until he agreed to stop hanging out with him. Musk recalled in Vance's book, moreover, they got him, they got my best bleeping friend to lure me out of hiding so they could beat me up. And that hurt. Vance described how, while telling this part of the story, Musk's eyes welled up and his voice quivered. For some reason, they decided that I was it and they were going to go after me nonstop. That's what made growing up difficult. For a number of years, there was no respite. You get chased around by gangs at school who tried to beat the shit out of me, and then I'd come home, and it would just be awful there as well. It was just like, nonstop, horrible. Elon's mother, May, and Errol divorced when he was eight. May said she left an abusive relationship. She ran away with the three children, and it was a struggle raising them as a single mom. The model and nutritionist saved up what she had, and when money got tight, she fed the kids peanut butter sandwiches and bean soup. Elon eventually chose to live with his father for a while, as he felt bad that his dad was living alone. One has to wonder if Elon regretted that decision, as he told Rolling Stone, he was such a terrible human being. You have no idea. My dad will have a carefully thought out plan of evil. He will plan evil. I went into detail in another video about Elon's relationship with his father, which I'll link in the description. In response to Elon's portrayal of him, Errol Musk told Rolling Stone, I've been accused of being a gay, a misogynist, a pedophile, a traitor, a rat, a shit quite often, a bastard by many women whose attentions I did not return, and much more. My own wonderful mother told me I am ruthless and should learn to be more humane. But he concluded, I love my children and would readily do whatever for them. Elon found comfort in coding. By the time he was 12, he coded a space-themed video game called Blastar. A South African magazine published the source code and gave him $500. The game was by no means a marvel of computer programming, but it did hint at the genius brewing inside of him. He would turn his science fiction fantasies into reality when he founded SpaceX at the age of 30 in 2002. His enthusiasm to explore space also has roots in the existential crisis he suffered as a teenager. He studied religious texts to learn the meaning of life. He ended up embracing the lessons in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, in which Musk says, the lesson is figuring out what questions to ask, and then the answer will be relatively simple. Musk has said his aim is to increase the scope and scale of human civilization so that we'll learn more, become more enlightened, and are better able to understand what questions to ask. The boy who fantasized about space and found solace in coding would later learn to fight back against his bullies. He went through a growth spurt, and by the time he was 16, he was a towering six feet tall. He also trained in karate, judo, and wrestling. And as he told Rolling Stone, I started dishing it out as hard as they'd give it to me. When he knocked out the biggest bully in school with one punch, he noticed that the bully never picked on him again. He told the magazine, it taught me a lesson. If you're fighting a bully, you cannot appease a bully 
you punch the bully in the nose. And perhaps that mentality shaped Elon Musk as he had to fight to keep Tesla and SpaceX alive, even when the odds were heavily against him. He also had to fight to prove his father wrong. When Elon was 17, he moved to Canada, his mother's birth country, and eventually ended up here in Toronto. He said his dad didn't think he could make it and told him he'd be back in South Africa within months and that he was an idiot for trying. He did two years of his undergrad at Queen's University in Kingston, three hours drive east of Toronto. But the goal was always to get to America. After two years at Queen's, he transferred to the University of Pennsylvania, his ticket to the promised land. As a young boy growing up in South Africa, when apartheid was in its final years, but there was still tension and violence, he saw America as the land of opportunity. For him, it was more than a cliche. It was the one place where a lonely, quiet kid with a talent for computers could make something of himself. No one could have predicted that he'd become one of modern America's greatest industrialists and perhaps, arguably, the greatest entrepreneur of all time. Elon Musk is a supremely talented engineer. If you'd like to strive to become like Musk or simply want to improve your computer science skills, my sponsor Brilliant is an incredible way to learn STEM interactively. Their Computer Science Fundamentals course is perfect for you if you'd like to learn the fundamentals of computer science or strengthen your knowledge of core computer science concepts and no coding is required. If you'd like to dig deeper and learn more about artificial intelligence, their Introduction to Neural Networks course is a great way to learn about data processing machines by experimenting hands-on. My personal favorite are the logic courses that really improve your critical thinking skills. There are no tests on Brilliant, and if you ever get stuck, you can read the explanation for more. Brilliant is free to try if you head to the link in my description or pinned comment, brilliant.org slash newsthink. And the first 200 people to click on my link will get 20% off the premium subscription, which gives you unlimited access to all of their offerings. Thanks for watching. For Newsthink, I'm Cindy Palm.